Hi, my name is Stephen McGee, I'm the author of Toxic Electricity. I'm here today to follow up on a YouTube that I did several months ago regarding this plant. And it was called Solpone Tower Radiation Experiment. And this particular plant has actually been shielded in aluminum foil for several months now to try and limit its exposure to Solpone Tower radiation. I live very close to three cell phone towers that are within six to seven hundred meters of my home. And the idea was to try and get this leaf deformity to grow back to this, as this is what the plant originally looked like before it deformed. As you can see, the experiment did not work. It's actually still growing in the identical fashion that it was growing before we put the foil around it. Let's take the foil off and see what's going on. So you can see we've got this very stalky growth that's topped with these very small, shiny leaves. And there's no patterning in the leaves like the original plant. And this is what the leaves should look like. So it's a very, it's a very, very different growth pattern. So this plant deformed in my digital television field. I've noticed that I've actually been able to produce the deformity on other plants, and this particular plant was sitting on my table where I would run my electromagnetic radiation experiments. And as you can see, this this is one of the original leaves. This is what the new growth looks like. So it's actually deformed in a very similar fashion. And this particular plant, the same things going on. We got the original growth, and we got the new growth, which is very small, no patterning, and very glossy leaves. So there's no doubt that these particular plants will actually deform in electromagnetic fields. So this brings us back to the cell phone tower. So what's cell phone towers doing to these plants? Well, this is a plant that I've not run any experiments on. It's just been growing in the house as a control plant. And pretty much all my control plants deform into this plant growth. So this is what it looks like when you grow it inside the house, and I get very, very strong signal reception on all cell phones that come into this house. So it appears that the cell phone tower radiation does actually deform the plants, and uh, it's very, very repeatable across multiple plants, this particular growth. And just to verify what was going on, I put this one outside, and cell phone tower radiation levels are very, very high outside the house compared to inside the home, as the home acts as an electromagnetic shield and dampens down the radiation. So this one went outside and it's had this very adverse reaction over several months to the radiation levels outside. And I believe it is reacting to cell phone tower radiation. And the conclusion that I've now come to is that I have grown so many of these plants in my home right now that it is impossible to grow one that looks like this. Absolutely impossible. I cannot do it. And that's because the radiation environment is off. And the main source of radiation around my home are cell phone towers. So I'm at the point now where I have no doubt that some of this plant deformity that you see in these plants is definitely coming from cell phone towers. And if the cell phone towers are doing this to the plants, you've got to wonder what it's doing to human health, and particularly babies, and children who have developing cellular systems. If you want to find out more about the subject, I can recommend a number of books. This particular book is done by Blake Levitt. It's called Electromagnetic Fields. It's a very good book. This one is done by Gunny Nordstrom. It's called The Invisible Disease. It does a very good job of talking about cell phone tower radiation. This book is excellent called Cross Currents by Dr. Robert O. Becker, and he talks about the biological damage that cell phone towers do to animals, plants, and humans. And there's also my book on the subject. It's called Toxic Electricity. And if you read these books, you will find out about all the damaging effects that cell phone towers are known to do to human health. I hope you enjoyed this presentation, and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.